Let's explore elapsed time. Since the beginning of time, time has always given people trouble. It's made people late to appointments. It's made people nervous. And it's even made people angry. But don't let time be confusing. All you have to do is to learn about elapsed time. Elapsed time is the amount of time that has passed. But whatever you do, don't fall into the trap. The most common mistake people make is when working on problems that involve elapsed time, they want to subtract. Let's look at an example. It is 9 o'clock a.m. Lunch is at noon. How much time is it until lunchtime? You want to start at 9 a.m. on the clock. Next, add one hour. Now it's 10 o'clock. Keep adding hours until you reach noon. Now it's 11 o'clock. And now it's noon. So that means three hours pass between 9 a.m. and 12 noon. Let's try a harder one. Caleb's soccer practice starts at 2.15 and lasts for 55 minutes. What time does the practice end? So we start at 2.15, and now let's count by fives to get to 55. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. So now that 55 minutes have passed, what time is it? Let's see, small hands on the three, so it's three. And the big minute hand is on the two, so it's 310. Let's try another method. Let's use a number line with time. The problem says, for a field trip, Alice's class left the school at 710 AM. The class returned to the school at 223 PM the same day. How long was the class away for the field trip? So I'm starting at 7.10 and I want to get to 2.23. So let's start at 7.10 and jump an hour at a time. 7.10 to 8.10 would be one hour. Then 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 hours. That will give us to 2.10. Then from 2.10 to 2.23, we have to jump 13 more minutes. So our answer would be six hours and 13 minutes. Let's try another one. Eric started watching a movie at 4.25 p.m. The movie ended at 6.15 p.m. How long was the movie? From 4.25 to 5.25, that would be one hour. Then 5.25 to six o'clock, that would be 35 minutes. And then 6 o'clock to 6.15 is 15 more minutes. So we have 1 hour plus 25 minutes plus 15 minutes. We get 1 hour and 50 minutes. Congratulations, you did it. You're an expert in elapsed time now. Now go practice. And don't be late.